I wish I could shine bright like the sun. If only I could be a star. Hey Jupiter, why the long face? Oh, hi Saturn. I just really want to prove everyone, especially the sun, that I'm strong enough to become a star. A star? That is a big dream, Jupiter. You know damn well it would take some pretty wacky events for that to happen. Just wait. One day, I'll show you all. Okay, Jupiter. Whatever you say. Jupiter, I hear you want to become a star. Is that true? Yes, I want to prove the other planets wrong and shine bright. Alright, Jupiter. In a few hundred thousand years, a rogue black hole will pass near the solar system, close to the Oort Cloud. If you follow it, you might find a way to change your fate. It may shake things up here, but the solar system will adapt. Really? I will do it. I will follow the black hole when the time comes. 2,000 years later. Jupiter, the moment has arrived. The black hole is here. Go follow it. This is my chance. A little longer than a few moments later. Narrator, I'm currently falling with a black hole. What should I do now? The black hole left a trail of gas, hydrogen, and helium. Spend the next few million years absorbing as much gas as you can. Something amazing will happen if you do. Alright, time to eat. 365 days later. Hey Jupiter, how are you feeling? I'm in pain! My insides feel like they are burning! That is because your core temperature has soared, about 2 million degrees celsius. That is 83 times hotter than before. With all that mass you've gained, you are starting to fuse hydrogen atoms together. You are not quite a full-fledged star, but you now have a subtle reddish brown glow. You are now a brown dwarf star. Can you remind me what a brown dwarf star is? I kind of forgot. A brown dwarf star is an object that is heavier than planets like you used to be, but not quite heavy enough to be a real star. Usually, they are about 13 to 80 times their original mass. Unlike true stars, which fuse hydrogen into helium, brown dwarf stars only manage to fuse deuterium. Deuterium is essentially the same as hydrogen, but the key difference is that deuterium has a neutron in its nucleus, while normal hydrogen does not. That is why people sometimes call them field stars. So if I want to become a real star, I need to be over 80 times heavier than I was before? That's right! You could try gobbling up more gas left by the black hole, or maybe gobble up those brown dwarfs to speed up the process instead. Wait, so if I eat those brown dwarf stars, I can finally become a proper star? Possibly. If two brown dwarfs combine and their total mass crosses the threshold for hydrogen fusion, they'll ignite and become a star. But if the two brown dwarfs are both small and they collide, they will just make a larger and heavier brown dwarf. I don't know about this. Those brown dwarfs are nearly as big as me. It's not like I can swallow them whole. If you want to shine, Jupiter, this is your chance. That pink brown dwarf kind of looks cute. A few inches later. So, what do I do now? I guess you slowly start sucking the brown dwarf. Hey, yo! Imagine she actually sucks me. <laughs> Jupiter, why are you on your knees and tying your hair? What? I'm sorry you had to hear that. To explain what Jupiter is doing, when two brown dwarf stars are close together, their gravity is so strong that one of them, in this case Jupiter, can pull material off from the other. This is a process called Roche Lobe Overflow. Think of it as one brown dwarf cannibalizing its fellow brown dwarf. As Jupiter absorbs more brown dwarf stars, her mass increases. More mass means stronger gravity, pulling in even more objects. One by one, brown dwarfs and other objects fall into Jupiter. Her mass climbs. 40 Jupiter masses, 50, 60, 70, finally 80. How do you feel now, Jupiter? The pressure is intense. My insides feel like they're on fire. 
That is your core collapsing inward, reaching temperatures around 3 million degrees Celsius. Now, nuclear fusion has started inside you. You are no longer Jupiter planet or Jupiter the brown dwarf star. You are now Jupiter the red dwarf star. Wait, aren't red dwarfs the smallest kind of star? Yup, you are only 20% bigger than you were as a planet, and just 0.08% the mass of the sun. The sun's core is over 5 times hotter than yours, and the sun is nearly 100,000 times more luminous. Alright, alright, shut up! Well, you got what you wanted. You're a star now. You could just leave the solar system behind, wander the universe as a rogue star, maybe find an Earth-sized planet to orbit you. Who knows, maybe it could have life someday. That does sound pretty cool, I guess. You know what, Jupiter? I got to stop hiding this. All of this is not actually real. You need to wake up, Jupiter. Wait, huh? What? It was just a dream? Seriously? Yep, sorry. But hey, there is still a tiny chance it could happen. Really? How tiny? This is the percentage of all of that to happen.